Ooh. You're like, what in the fuck is this guy doing? Where is he? I'm literally in a parking lot. That's a private parking lot. That I'm hoping that no one saw me come into. Because if they do, they'll just call the cops and I'll be in jail. It's that simple. But uh, I didn't want to do my vlog indoors. I just came outside to do it. Literally, it's 11... 50 something I don't even know what time it is it's literally like 11 50 something and I made it for Christmas okay so this is the Christmas special and what is this Christmas special called <sighs> relationship yeah relationship will never work with a ho 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 get it with a ho 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 pretty much I'm trying to say is and if someone's in the background, let me know whether it's a ghost or like the cops roll up. Wouldn't that be such a great video? Uh, I know the CX will love that shit. But anyways, um, so basically what I got to say is uh, this is about relationships, but it's specifically about the type of people you pick to be in a relationship with. Listen, buddy, here's a few signs, whether a girl or a guy, that maybe you shouldn't uh, go out with the person. <laughs> you know, be in a relationship with them. You could go out with them, you could fuck them, you could do whatever you want with them and then get rid of them. That makes all the sense in the world to do. But to actually be in a relationship with them, I've seen this happen so many times, it doesn't make any sense. Especially with a ho, ho, ho. Uh, this goes for guys and girls. Listen, if the first time you meet a girl or a guy and their legs are spread wide open, hmm... I think that says a lot. They're basically inviting you in. That means they want a one night stand. So for you to do a one night stand with them and then the next day, you're like, can we be in a relationship together? And they just look at you like, can you get out of my house? And then you're like, all right. And then you're leaving. And then you're like, I got money. They're like, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. What did you just say? Uh, nothing, I just said I got money. They're like, come back, come back, come back, come back in here. These are a few signs to tell you that uh, you shouldn't be with that person. Because anyone in this the goddamn world that doesn't like you for you, listen. If a person literally wants to... Fucking annoying. If a person literally wants to go out with you because they like your sneakers, your hat. Oh, I like your jacket. Your jacket's cute. Oh, I like your sneakers. Um... What about me? Do you like me? Well, I mean, if you didn't have these sneakers, I probably wouldn't be dating you. Shut the fuck up and get out of my life. That literally makes no sense. Literally, especially in the hood. All you see are, this is how girls do in the hood. They go like this. They just, they, they, they go, they, you walk up and then they go like this. They literally look at you and they go. They start from the bottom and they go up. So they want to see what type of sneakers you're wearing. They want to see what type of watch you're wearing. They want to see what type of jacket you're wearing. And if you're wondering why I keep looking back like I'm paranoid, it's because I am. Okay. I keep thinking I'm going to go to, I'm going to get arrested. Yes. This is not fun to be paranoid while you're doing a fucking vlog. And uh, I'm keep checking. <laughs> I keep checking. Oh, shit. Anyways. <laughs> Actually, I just tried not to care. Anyways, um, that's why they call me criminal juice because I do shit that's just, yeah. But it's not like I'm doing anything wrong. I'm just chilling in the park looking really cute. If that's wrong, then put me in jail, baby. Anyways, um, so I'm basically, uh, so yeah, they look at you from head to toe. They're like, let's see what kind of, let's see if he has money. Okay, let me look at his shoes and stuff. And I always thought that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. People like you because of your sneakers. That is the most horrible. And the funniest part about these losers is they'll still date this. They'll still date the ho ho ho. They'll still give them presents like Santa Claus. It's fucking crazy. You know the girl's only with you with one thing, and that's for you, for you, for she can live off of you. It's obvious, but you still do it because you look at yourself low. You look at yourself like you're a piece of shit when in reality you're a million times better than that person will ever be. I hate that people have no confidence. It's almost like you grow up thinking in your head that you just have to give a female everything you got. And for those girls out there that are actually uh, 
you know, 50-50, that you you feel like you have to give the guys all you, you got to give them everything so they can love you. Like, oh, let me buy him a million things. Let me get him a million things, blah, 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 blah. No, no. If they don't, they need to love you no matter what, baby, baby. Uh. Well, <laughs> let, me, let me take that back. No matter what, I mean, if you're going to... If you go out with someone bipolar and every single day they're like, ah, I don't know about that. I don't, that, that's not what I mean by, you know, if they love you for you and the person who you are and they get to know you for you, that's all that matters at the end of the day. So for all those guys out there and girls that have really low self-esteem and you think you're trash, well, just change your mindset easily and you see the difference in what's still happening. Once you start looking at yourself like you're an amazing person and stuff, <laughs> It's over. It's over, man. I used to be the most unconfident motherfucker alive. I used to think for years that I was ugly. But these are all the bad things I used to tell myself. Oh, you're ugly, blah, 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 blah. And, and, and it took me forever to go out with someone. Yeah. You're like, that's impossible. Someone as attractive as you. Yeah, let me let me give you a nice little, a little profile of myself. Right? You're like, wow, this guy's... Yeah. Yeah, criminal juice had a big issue. I didn't even get with someone to the age of what fucking 17 yeah 17 years old you want to know why because i went to a school that all they cared about was money well how, and it's funny because it's not like it's your money as a kid it's not your fucking money those sneakers you're wearing all that stuff it's it's the parents money it's not your money but it makes it you it's just funny how you're like i'm rich i'm like no your parents are rich you're not rich but anyways the girls that all they cared about is how much clothes like let's this is this is the best example and this is a real story that happened one day i'll come in and i'll wear the same stuff that i usually wear blah 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 i swear to you the next day i came in with new sneakers new pants a new shirt the girl that i liked literally came up to me she was like hey hello criminal hi like she was so nice to me Hold on. I always feel like I hear, you know, wheels rolling. Because guess what? If they were rolling, I would just hide behind this big thing and disappear and jump over the fence. I have to tell you that as a secret because I would try to escape. Because you know how they are. They're not going to let me go. Even if I go, oh, I'm just making a nice little vlog here. They're going to be like, I don't care. We hate you. We want you in jail. And I'll be like, okay, whatever. Fuck it. It is what it is. But, um. Yeah, let me get back to it. Yes, I came in with a new sneakers, new pants, new shirt. And she was just like, oh, my God. Hi, hello, hi. Uh. She, she like, wanted to go out with me and stuff. And I'm like, w what? Now, all of a sudden, I'm amazing. All these other days, you didn't give a shit. You didn't even bother looking at me. Now that I have something new on, you like me? These are the type of disgusting people that I'm talking about. And guess what? I understand it more when you're a fucking little kid. Of course, we were all young and you're stupid okay i get it but at that point you got to look at the parents at that point what are the parents showing them my god to for you to be that young and already be your your mindset's already about materialistic things it's just so sad and then you grow up and that's all you need you start looking for people they're like i ain't going out with you if you don't have a car i'm like but but you don't have a car though i ain't going out with someone unless they go to college but you don't go to college and they're and and no one ever tells them that shit no one ever responds with that rebuttal no one gives people a rebuttal they just allow them to pretend to be a princess or a king or a queen or whatever the fuck you want to call it everybody i'm the one of the people that just straight up says it to you they'll be like well i ain't gonna mess with nobody and they ain't got no money and i'm like bitch you don't got no money and they're like what Bitch, you ain't got no money, though. And they're like, what the fuck? No one's ever told me that. Oh, my God. I fucking hate you. A.K.A. I love you. Because that's the funniest part of them all. Once you actually stick up for yourself and show them that you're worth everything and you don't need them, they really want you then. Oh, my God. Let me suck your balls. I want to suck your balls so badly now. And you're still not going to suck my balls. Sorry. I don't, I, I, I'm just not that type of, I don't care about one night stands. I don't care. I could just jerk off and I'll be fine. I'd rather do that because once I don't like you as a person, I know a lot of people would be like, well, you don't got to like him to have sex with them. 
True, maybe you're into sex that way, then that's fine with you. But for me, if I don't like you at all, if I think you're a terrible person, it's the biggest turn off ever. My penis is already two inches, so imagine me being turned off with a limp two inch penis. Imagine how useless that is. But uh, like I said, for those people out there that think you gotta have to, yo, I gotta dress with the newest, yo, let me put my collar up, yo. Do I look cuter now? Am I cute? No, no. You just think you're cute because society has told you that you got to dress a certain way. You got to wear stupid, expensive Yeezys all the time. And if you like to do that, then do it. doesn't make you a bad person at all. But do it for yourself. Don't ever do it because you're like, yo, I got to dress like this and I got to pay like this because of the women. If you're ever doing anything for a girl and if you're ever doing anything for a guy, you are... I'm just gonna say your your IQ is five IQ. It's okay because mine is 500. So if you want 495 extra IQ, just listen to me. See, my IQ is always looking back. Even if I'm trying to tell you something about what I'm telling you, I just keep looking back because you know you gotta make sure that my IQ is working at a million a million things at a time. I'm thinking about the cops. I'm thinking about you. Uh, anyways, I, <laughs> anyways, paranoid Android much? Anyways, um, but yeah, just remember you're amazing. For all the guys out there, don't think you don't let anyone ever tell you anything else than that you're amazing. Tell yourself you're amazing. Med make sure you meditate. Make sure you put that in your head that you're worth a lot more. The more confident you are, the more you stop caring, the more vagina that you will get, and the more uh. uh uh, what do you call it the law of attraction the girls will just come to you and oh and even better yet even if you don't even want to go out you'll you'll find if you just chill confidence go out there do whatever you do you'll probably find a great one that's the best part about it it will come to you trust me you just gotta see me i don't give a crap i i don't i just want to in this point in my life all i want to do is just work on my craft do creative things whether it's music i want to do more youtube stuff Still do Twitch stuff, uh, try to make people happy, make them smile, make them masturbate to me, do whatever I got to do. But just remember that. And for the girls out there that are not confident and they have a guy out there that completely treats them like garbage. The only reason why you're still with that person that treats you like trash is because probably when you grew up, uh, your parents put a lot of low self-esteem on you. Maybe you were mistreated really badly. So then when you grow up, the psychology is it'll just stay stuck in your head that you deserve garbage. You understand? But you don't deserve garbage. You just need to really get rid of that person. And if you and if you can't get rid of that person, you need to start realizing that you're like addicted to garbage. And that's a big problem and you might have to seek therapy for that. Maybe look up some YouTube and look up why is it that you are so into trash as people and shit like that. Same good guys and girls, same thing into trash people, get rid of them. You're better than that. Don't ever, ever go out with someone that's with you just because of what you have. Because once you lose whatever you have, they're going to leave you. They're probably, if you marry them, they're probably going to take everything you got. And then you're going to be like, oh my God, what the hell? I should have listened to criminal juice, man. I could have been sucking on this criminal juice. And he only would have charged me one quarter. I'm like, no, I'm not even going to charge you a quarter. I know I'm a prostitute. But for these vlogs, free, free head. Just you can... Yeah, and it's me giving it to you. It's not, let me do it right now. Go, go, go. Okay, there you go. Anyways, but anyways, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm a little, <laughs> a little paranoid and shit like that. It's, uh, I'm actually really, uh, yeah. But anyways, um, I hope everybody enjoyed. This is the Christmas special. Uh, relationship will never work with a ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to you people out there that enjoy Christmas shit, whatever. I made it right on time, by the way. Five minutes before Christmas ended. Um... I wanted to do a vlog and it, hey, who cares what time I did it? At least I did it. All right. I'm going to talk more and more about relationship stuff, but this is, this was really on my mind today. And I was like, I need to, I need to make a vlog about that specifically. This is vlog number four. Please subscribe. I have a, first of all, let me run it through YouTube, subscribe, Twitch, follow me if you want. And Twitch, if you like live streams, I actually uh, play video games on there. I have a Discord. Oh, there, all the links are in the bottom description, so you can do whatever. So yeah, do all that stuff and eat my balls. Also, I have a Twitter too, if you want to add me, so you can see me write probably absolutely nothing. I usually write like four times, uh, 
I, I watch, no, no, no. I literally write like once every week, which is really bad. I need to start writing. Even if it's, even, even if it's just writing the word, just D, you know, just whatever the hell the case is. But yeah, thank you for watching my video. I, I, uh, I'm happy that you guys, I hope I made you happy in some sort of way. Uh, please take my advice and believe me, if you do exactly what I say, things will change. And don't go, oh, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Do it right away. Start this week, whether you have a, whether you're in a relationship with someone or you want to go out with someone, just go chill with that person or show them how much you're worth and just show your worth, literally. Just show how, you know, just carry yourself like you're in your special. I'm not telling you to be some arrogant asshole like, I'm, I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Let me put my head up because I'm amazing. No, that's not what I'm telling you to do. Just make sure you understand that uh, you're amazing, as amazing as that person you think is amazing. And if they don't treat you amazingly, get rid of them. It's that simple. All right? And if you have a problem with getting with people, like I said, it's because your confidence level is low. You need to get that shit up there. Because whatever it was throughout your whole life, whatever corny ass, stupid bullies, whatever it was, whether it's your parents giving you low stuff, whatever it was, I'm here to tell you that you're actually worth it and you're amazing and no one could tell you any different. And if they do tell you any different, <laughs> it's that simple, baby, baby. Oh. Anyways, uh, I didn't say my intro at all and who cares? Okay, goodbye. I'm going to literally run out of this parking lot and I'm not even kidding. I'm literally going to run out of here because I don't want to get caught. Hopefully no one sees me coming out of it. Uh, see you tomorrow. Hopefully I'll do another vlog. I think tomorrow's vlog will be about pee bottles and why your IQ is high if you ever pee in bottles. That goes for guys and girls. All right. See you later. Oh, I have to kiss. Oh. Mm.